When Panasonic came to Seattle to deliver a GH5, we were immediately looking for opportunities to shoot some test footage. So we took them on a tour of our local whiskey distillery. So welcome down to Westland. Uh, my name is Brian and I'll be running us through here today. Uh, we're actually the largest single malt distillery in the country and the largest craft distillery west of the Mississippi right now. So all we do is produce American single malt whiskey. Uh, let's just talk about whiskey in general. Uh, whiskey is a distilled spirit made from cereal grains. Uh, and generally when we talk about cereal grains, we're talking about corn, wheat, rye, and barley. Um, so we'll walk down here and, and talk about some of the barley that we're using. The first thing we need to talk about is barley. It's a really amazing grain to produce whiskey from. Uh, so in the malting process, essentially what you're doing is tricking barley into thinking it's underground in the winter. It's taking up all this moisture and it's time to germinate. The endosperm in that grain starts to produce enzymes. But then you need to dry the barley out really quickly. Uh, and by drying the barley out really quickly, essentially these enzymes go into hibernation. So uh, in the mash process, essentially what's happening is we're, we're soaking barley in hot water. And then we have these giant rakes, which will continually churn that mixture and make sure there's no clumping happening. So what we're left with at the end of the mash process is referred to as a wort, uh, which is just basically like a, a sweet barley tea. The next step, the wash isn't gonna be as good, but <laughs> it's still fun to taste. Uh, it tastes like a sour Belgian ale, essentially. Uh, yeah, and then we'll head into the still room. These are our two copper pot stills. Uh, so all of our whiskey is double distilled in copper pot stills the, in the traditional Scottish method. Water and alcohol have different boiling points. So as you heat that mixture up, you're able to start separating the alcohol from the water, uh, which makes distilled spirits possible. And so all spirit that comes off a still is clear. Okay, so cask maturation is hugely important. We're gonna develop about 70% of our flavor from the cask uh, and, and all of our color. Well, you guys ready to sample some of the wares? Uh, we can sit down and, and sample these guys. We didn't just want to copy Scotland. We wanted to make something that was very uniquely American uh, and more specifically, very unique to the Northwest. You know, the, the Scots have been really excited about it. You know, uh, they're just glad, you know, someone in America is making single malt rather than bourbon or rye. <laughs>